Hi, I'm Stu, and welcome back to another LumaFusion video tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to color grade your iPhone 14 cinematic mode footage. And as I've still got the iPhone 13, although it does cinematic mode, it only does it at 30 frames a second, whereas on the 14, it does it at 24 and 25 frames a second, respectively, depending on what part of the world you're in and how you're wanting to record. So, I have kindly asked Nick Garnet, who is a news television and radio presenter for the BBC and he sent me a couple of different sequences which I'm going to colour grade for you now. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to press number 5 on my keyboard. This takes us into colour and effects. I'm going to use one preset warm-up for this bit of footage, and then in the second bit of footage, I'll do it completely from scratch. So you can use one or the other. They work interchangeably. So we tap on warm-up to get it started. And remember, you've got your little visibility icon here. So there's before and there's after. So this gives us a good ballpark sort of starting point for this particular style of video, which you want want it to be like morning, golden hour, warm sunrise, that kind of thing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a touch more red. And it's very much a less is more approach when it comes to colour grading and luma fusion. You don't want to be sliding these sliders too dramatically left and right. You can add a tiny little bit of magenta if we want. Another technique that I do tend to use quite regularly is going into the tint option below, tapping on that, and then just very carefully sliding in from the left hand side and the more you slide the more the colour gets quite dramatic so we can go into the warmer end of things of a peachy orange and then just bring things in or if we wanted to we could go down into the greens highlight the greens a little bit more I'm going to stick on the yellows just turn around about there tap out of that and if I want to I can dial back the original yellow and just see where we're at with it with the tint actually doing its job and then again just playing with the reds a little bit now in terms of contrast all that sometimes less contrast is better but when it comes to cinematic mode noted a tiny little bit more contrast goes a long way and there we have the first color grade so if we come back out of it so there's before and there's after so we just tapped on the warm up made some little fine tuning tweaks to the red and the blue in this case the yellow part of the blue color adjustments and if you want to you can obviously call upon your video scopes and all the different controls that you've got in terms of waveforms and vector scopes and that and that will let you see whether you're oversaturating or anything like that so for example add more vibrance see how that expands the color here obviously it's too much but we could maybe add a little bit and there we go so if we come back that's where we're at with it before and after and that's where we're back with that, with the colour grading applied. Next we're going to look at this little bit of footage, which we are going to colour correct manually. And to do that, we'll just this time tap on the pencil, that will take us into our controls. We're already in colour and effects, so it pops up, remembering that was the last place we were at. We're going to tap original this time, we're going to do this all manually. So I'm just going to give myself a little bit more room. And on this occasion, what I tend to want to do first of all is just have a look at the brightness and see if there's any adjustments needing done. Tiny little bit more contrast, maybe. And when it comes to woodland scenes and things like that, you've got to remember the green of the leaves you kind of want to accentuate to a certain extent. But you also want to bring up the reds of the soil and the, in this case, the autumn leaves that are still on the ground. And then do we add a little bit more yellow? You can get into the magentas a little bit or into the greens but what I would tend to do is just ever so slightly come into the magentas and then again back down to this tint option and this time this allows us to come into the greens or so it's quite subtle but we just want to be around about there that's us done if you want to you can play with the gamma just darken things off ever so slightly now remember in this case of this footage if I play it through because Nick is tilting the camera up the way and um, towards the cheek canopy it gets a little bit darker so what you can do if you want to is we take it back to around about here 
we can add a keyframe and go to the very end and lighten things off a little bit. So if I just adjust the gamma and then just pull back the contrast ever so slightly. So we're about C, we are there. Let's go to there, just reset it effectively. And that means when you then play it through, you've got a keyframe that takes it from that nice contrasty gamma affected visual and as it as it tilts up it then gets a little bit lighter because you're going into a darker area so you can keyframe the color and effect as well and there we go again if you come back out and there's before and there's after and there you go it's as simple as that if you liked the video by all means give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and don't forget to ring the bell and i will see you on the next one see you later